Why, hello there! How are you today? Awesome Soul here, and today I'm going to be talking about something rather interesting that I have yet to see pretty much anyone talk about, actually. And that was a small detail in the recent Pokemon Day trailer that, like I said, pretty much everyone looked over. I've yet to see anybody actually talk about this. So perhaps I'm just crazy, or maybe it's something that hints at Pokemon Switch. Obviously, we already know that Pokemon Switch is in the works. It's most likely going to be Generation 8, yet we don't know that for certain. But anyways, in the trailer, we see that there is a new Snapchat filter. Now, this is not the first time they've done a Snapchat filter. As before, there was a Snapchat filter featuring Pikachu, as well as Pichu and Raichu, if I recall correctly. And all of those ones used the previous existing Generation 6 slash 7 model. And it was in the same image quality, I guess we can say, of the Pokemon Go model, which currently is the highest quality models we have in any Pokemon game. But if we take a look at the Bulbasaur model and compare it to the 3D model of Bulbasaur in the Snapchat filter, we can see that there is definitely a difference. So here is the Generation 6 slash 7 model of Bulbasaur in the 3DS games, and here is the model of Bulbasaur in Pokemon Go. It's using the same model, it's just a higher resolution. But then we move over to the Snapchat Bulbasaur, and there is a very clear difference. As the shadowing is different, the snout actually protrudes out a little bit, and the bulb on its back has a lot more detail to it. To me, that's really the big one that stands out. It seems like if this is, in fact, a new model for the new games, it's trying to go away from the whole cell-shaded, outlined look that we have in the Gen 6 and 7 games. And it would make sense, because if you have seen upscaled versions of Pokemon like Bruxish, for example, without those cel-shaded lines, the teeth look like one solid mass. So obviously those models were designed with cel-shading in mind. But because there's no cel-shading, this new model in the Snapchat filter has to be a lot more detailed and have more textures to it. So what do you guys think? Could this possibly be a hint at them redoing every single model for Generation 8? Or do you think this is just a one-off? But I mean, this model had to come from somewhere, and this was promoted by the official Pokemon channel, so... Uh, I, I don't know. Personally, I'm leaning towards it being true, but obviously that's more of a hope than actual fact. But anyways, I thought this was something interesting that you should all know about. If you have any thoughts or opinions, let me know in the comment section down below. With that, I of course have been the Awesome Soul. I thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.